Welcome to Riverbend Talent on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. It is another Riverbend Talent on a Thursday night here on 107.1. Uh, brought to you by the Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Boris of Macias Insurance. And uh, man, Pigpen, they've been uh, helping us out now for eight, nine years. And uh, <laughs> a decade. Let's just call it. A, let's just call it an even decade. Unbelievable. We're still here. Half a that's, score. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> President Lincoln would call it half a score because it's more theatrical. It's a half a score down at the Sea Shanty Sing Along at Morrison's Irish Pub tonight. Already underway until nine o'clock. Uh, we got Graham Pagano underway up at George's Local Brew until nine. Lanny and Julie have started Big Daddies in Edwardsville. They go to nine. Canceled Frankie and the House Shakers. I know you're uh, highly disappointed, Pig Ben. But, uh, well, they the are house canceled will not be shaken. The house will, will remain still this evening. They would have had to do it on crutches, from what I understand. So that you can't really shake on crutches. You can, yeah. You know, stagger. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was going to say that, tell that to Michael J. Fox, but that's, that's just right. over the line. That is over that's the line. That's just over the line. That, he just got bad news, so that's <laughs> really bad timing. Truck, it, I, yeah, I, I don't keep up with the news. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the trucker's underway uh, <laughs> at the Prairie Inn in Dorsey uh, until 8.30 tonight. And, of course, Experience Live Music Row underway down there in Belleville. Tribune night later at the Conservatory, 6.30 to 8.30. Open mic at uh, Radio Cajun every Thursday night. Uh, Step Brothers under uh, 7 to 11 tonight at Fast Eddie's in Alton. And uh, Eric Lysot at Deutz from 7 to 11. And that wraps up what's already underway on a Thursday night. i got to yeah. tell you, Pigpen, I am uh, extremely excited about our guest tonight. <laughs> yeah, I could tell by the way you blazed through the Thursday so fast that you couldn't wait to get to this. <laughs> I would have to say they are one of my favorite young, maybe my favorite young band. Yeah. After after spending all day watching their videos and listening to their uh, records. Yeah. It, and, uh, that, and and in this particular town, that is a, a pretty tough choice. That's a pretty, you know, you're throwing it out there because they're, all, well, what, what me and you would consider to be young bands. Right. Any of the bands that are in their twenties, thirties, you know. Uh, yeah. So, so these guys are 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 down there. They they don't look old enough to drink. I don't. I, this this guy's a minor. Like he can't I, even I, be. I, sh- I, <laughs> we're, look, we are listen, talking to l- silver material. Okay. Let's so get yeah. That so out so instead of saying this guy, I'm going to introduce <laughs> the band, and then I'm going to rail on them all. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> watch out, Jonah. will rail back. But, will you know what? Uh, he he's apparently there's like established lore about me before yeah. i got here dude it, you, he goes all the way back to the bible the story of right. Jonah and the rail you lived Jonah's in a whale like man that. yeah you Jeez. lived on a rail some days i miss yeah it. and and then you you know after three days you got off the rail or we've had, i don't know not it's, willingly we've had I, jonah and noah on now it's pretty cool you know jonah noah moses is coming jonah's last name is clausen with two s's I, yeah right mm-hmm Two if you S's. believe him. That's important. So, so Jonah is the drum. He, They're he like plays. those little satanic S's. <laughs> you know, like his head. <laughs> I, I was picking up some pretty evil vibes off. First of all, just the, the way he looks. It's just like, he looks like he's rough. Like he's probably had some days outdoors. He he's kinda, the he's drummer. He's kind of leathery. Like, his skin's all leathery like Willie Nelson. He's the drummer. Like catcher. No. No. <laughs> I actually don't go outside that much. That's oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's, it, it's exact opposite of what I'm saying. You don't look old enough to drink. I mean, legally, you obviously look old enough to drink. Hey, <laughs> this I, guy can play the drums, though. I'm telling I, you. I, I I'm believe telling you, man. I, was, uh, I, I saw them at the – so the band is Silver Material, by the way, because I don't think we even got Yeah, we band. did. So Silver Material is the name of the band we have with us. Jonah, who plays the drums right next to me. Next to him, we got Brad on the guitar. Or Braden sometimes. Yep. Well, you know. Or Little That's, Richard. Yeah. You know, no, a little no, 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 no. Yeah, and, and if, if he's in trouble at home, it's Brayden Rose. That's his middle name. <laughs> Brayden Rose. That is my middle name. No. <laughs> I've heard short references to him from time okay. to time. Right. Could you scoot up, Shorty? I mean, Brayden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I got you. Uh, next to, to uh, Brad is Y, Vox and a guitar, and, and in, in, a, in addition to being the singer. He's a vampire. And, and a guitar player. He is a vampire. Look, <laughs> look, whatever religion he chooses Look at his, his teeth. Choice. I am certified. He's got vampire teeth. It is on camera. Uh, certified as something. We're not going to say what. All right. Uh, yeah, you were, you're, in, in addition to being the singer and uh, the rhythm guitar player, you're quite the dancer. So he's got the moves. I'm just saying. Thank you. Yeah, oh yeah. I saw. 
I saw in your little tight pants. Out there <laughs> the I, I didn't uh, want to be the one to make that oh, joke, yeah. but it's so true. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I used to say it looked like oh, yeah. <laughs> during some of our songs, it looked like he was humping the stage. Well, all <laughs> I'm gonna say is if he is a vampire, I don't think they're circumcised. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not quite that tight of pants. <laughs> Next to him is Will Marsh on uh, bass, guitar, and vocals as well, and acoustic. And yeah, acoustic sometimes, guitar. Sometimes. Yeah. And he is a vampire hunter, oddly enough. Six string. Uh, six string bass. Right? Yep. Bass My players. Baby. First of all, bass players don't know no, nothing about no B string. Well, I, I, well <laughs> not, not as much as I'd like to. I'd like to, play, I'd like to use it more. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but, but, it, but it's the one you use the least, isn't it? Most Maybe, ba- yeah, probably, yeah. Most yeah. bass players just, you know, a little less onto that string i just noticed i just now, pay attention man will does all. will does most of the uh the lead singing right no virus does a lot of the okay he does most of it and then i yeah. do a lot of harmonies on yeah. the video so say, on yeah. the videos you sing the most though a lot of the videos i do it, okay are do a lot of songs that i sing we do the well that's because he gets to pick which songs they do the videos from and he's like well the one i sing i think we should do <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get a band fight going for it over. <laughs> <laughs> well the one the first one we did the watered down one that was because we did the video. The videos we actually had, we did for school. Like okay. we did them. They were we had a video production class over at Lewis and Clark. Yeah. And uh, why was in it one semester, and then that's uh, or two semesters, and we got the Hanada acoustic video, and then the uh, watered down music video, and then the semester after that, uh, me, uh, Y, and Brad all took the class. So we did smart. The, yeah, we did the Every Light music video, then the Baja Blast music video, and then the Barely Awake music video. And we had the Thousand Songs video in between those two. And oh yeah, semester. that we. I skipped All right. a semester. All right, that's side, a lot of work. Side note here. That's like in a year. <laughs> so so right. side note here, we 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 uh, we like to help. It, we don't know that there's any bands out there listening today, or our, our musicians, or, or people, whatever. or people yeah. of, of any type. <laughs> we don't even know. But for, I mean, <laughs> as far as I know, we're just sitting around uh, putting on a buzz and chit chatting. But this is what this is what I was going to say. We always do like to get out information to help any musicians who might yeah. be out there so anyone who didn't pick up yeah. on what was just said a very important paper. they took a video course and made videos now do you remember how much the the video course cost to uh, enroll in 120 I, bucks something maybe it's closer i think it's around 400 i, th- I think it's 400. like 300 for credit. 400 okay a semester. okay so 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 let, let, let's let's go ahead and go with the high number here right and go go 400 he's got his business hat on I, i'm Watch trying out. to i'm trying to I'm, i will make nothing <laughs> off this but i i here's the thing how many videos can you make in a semester how many um, videos did you make in a semester um we typically have like one big one that we direct and edit for our final project at the end of the semester and then otherwise we help like shoot videos in that class it's a okay but you class. just listed multiple videos that That's were because all three of us took the class. Yeah. He directed one, I directed. So they all individually okay. got their own gotcha. music video yeah. project. So each, so Beautiful. This, okay, there we go. <laughs> so what, what we've learned here, kids, is that if you don't have the equipment and you don't have uh, even the know-how, for $400, you can make your own each. video. You could probably take it for non-credited for even cheaper. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And, you'd probably, and they're all so nice there. They'd let you do a project probably using all their equipment just yeah. to get involved. Well, sure. Especially and, and, if you help and out. And plus, if, if they get $400 and, and, and they can say, yeah, my class needs to be again next year because look how many people took it this year. Right. <laughs> that's called security, right. boys. That's what that's called. It's a made-up word, that. that's aren't what it's you, called. Aren't you guys in the music program, too? Yeah. Yeah, me, uh, Will, and Brad. Okay, which there. is important because you get to use the uh, chapel. Oh yeah, like yeah. you did in all your videos. We're yep. playing our anniversary show there. That's in a few right. Weeks. That's what I wanted to bring up. Yeah. What's the date on that, there, Jonah? Is, uh, oh. I, d- I oh. actually don't know the date. <laughs> uh, it, it's November eighth. I'm the one organizing. Oh, yeah, I thought there it was you November seventh. I didn't want to be wrong. Okay. <laughs> well, you were eight. You were eight. We wouldn't eight, have known eight. it if you hadn't told us. But <laughs> now November eighth. Oh, yeah. And so you guys are playing a show there with all your buddies. Yeah. That ought to be cool after spending semesters in that building. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it's it's neat. We're playing a whole album. Um, the, uh, like, head of the music department, Louis Michael, has talked about, like, hosting, like, shows, like, at the chapel, like, with all the different bands and musical acts that are there at the school. And um, he just kind of finally started that up this semester. So I was like, I'm jumping on that opportunity. Nice. We're going to play that there. Do, do they still do the Spring Fest out there? Um, in the hall, 
Hathaway. Yeah, you know, Hathaway Hall. They sure. used to, man, years ago they would do Spring Fest and yeah, like the all the college bands would come yeah. out and play. That yeah, one word that came up. He said they halted it after that one thing that happened. We're trying to forget and never manifest again. <laughs> well, they do like little like individual shows in the uh ryan house building yeah, was it called yeah, the little brown bags yeah sets. yeah they do like little tiny sets like will's done one we've done in a full band acoustic set there um, that's nice. like a they usually do those they're like called brown bag they're usually acoustic they're just like done in like the main lobby of one of the music music buildings and usually at like twelve thirty on like a wednesday so it's called like brown bag so you like you bring your your sack lunch with you mm. um mm. and I take it everywhere i go oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> now this uh november 8th show is the one year anniversary is that right one of, year and three days in three album. days yeah. we got to be specific and we get to bring up a three <laughs> three is important you know tesla would walk oh. around the building three times before he entered true i don't know if it's true i just <laughs> anyways two threes but <laughs> it's a free show that's a good point november 8th free to uh party and rock in the yep. chapel memorial yeah. chapel <laughs> benjamin godfrey's memorial chapel and uh your friends who are else are playing oh it's just us for that show. it's just you yeah it's just us. Oh, okay okay so you're going to be all by yourself with all your fans in a nice intimate location where all your videos were film we're going to bring yes. some people to christ it's going to be a religious experience for i think so yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely that's good that's, you guys are that doing is what it's supposed to be man <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that's november 8th but you guys are playing all weekend too mm-hmm. all weekend like yeah. friday saturday sunday yep yep the oh, big uh, halloween show at the milton school on saturday yep you yep. got your friends there yeah, yeah there a lot yeah, of people of playing friends, there yeah. let's see it's biff gnarly uh, Buyer Candy. Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Buyer Candy is at a. Uh, is that a different one? That's CBG. But let me let me pull up the. Uh, yeah, why, why don't you let us know what we, you're actually doing? And meanwhile, I, you know, I we should go got, back to the religious experience. I actually got it. <laughs> oh no! Uh, you, you I actually got Zappa it on our list. Oh what? Yeah. Are you a fan of Frank Zappa's music? Uh, I know of him, but I've never really explored his music uh, great composer and he uh, is quoted as saying music is the only religion that comes through with the goods here you go silver material so, olive it's always a religious experience olive that's actually fair daisy chain biff gnarly 86 red and shareholder yep 15 dollar okay. show old milton school $15. yeah that's what it said on the I think thing it's $20 at the door, actually. wow yeah that's yeah. advanced well, yeah. if you're there to see us, we have two probably cheaper shows the following day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd recommend maybe going to those instead. For, the, for those of you who don't have 20 whole dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. it's not that I don't have 20, but I owe this guy 10, and like I got to get some gas. and you know. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll talk more to these guys in a second. Let's go ahead and jump into Friday. Why we got a little break in the action here. All right. Where we got the uh, Irish music going down at Morrison's. We got Coolaverse Culture Night. Sure. Uh, with uh, Matthew Murder playing at 10 o'clock. <laughs> okay. At the Conservatory and all. <laughs> that is a Halloween show. That, I was going to say that. That's name. A, yeah, Matthew yeah. Murder. It's hard to beat that. Uh, Although Wyatt what, is a vampire. What should so, I be supposed to dress <laughs> I mean, there's that. So. I'm dressing up for all three of them. Well. These guys are dressing up. Oh, they, I was asking. Yeah, but they're not talking about costumes. They're just yeah, talking no. about getting dolled up, you know, some rouge. Well, we do a Halloween show every year. Our first show was like around Halloween. It was just me was and Brad a year and the ago, band. Year and one day ago. Or four, four years, years and one day ago. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> four yeah. score and 20 years yeah, ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so I just, I didn't know if we were dressing up for a specific show. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to dress up for all the shows yeah, this weekend. I, 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 I was, was going to say, you to guys. Halloween tomorrow. Yeah, dude. You guys do dress up a little bit for every show. I, I say you go for like a sexy nun look or I'm maybe a sexy costume. police officer. Last yeah, year I was a sexy cowboy. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I have a muscle yeah. suit too that I'm also going to wear at one of the it's shows. It's a baby muscle suit. Yeah. 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 It's sick. All right. I, I'm liking it, man. How about a sexy goblin? Dude, a sexy could, zombie. I could do like a sexy ogre, I think. Yeah, any of that. <laughs> sexy Shrek. Yeah. Like a sexy Shrek. Oh, yeah. I think I could, I could pull that off. Shrek. 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 Yeah, I'd be Shrek. I'm what? looking for my Fiona out there. What? Okay, when so my, they, uh, they just my... clued us in on a question I wanted to ask. You two started the band first. Yeah. yeah. Yep. From Staunton, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And I'm these sorry. guys are from Bunker Hill. Yep. And that's Brad and Jonah that started it for the people who can't see me pointing. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so how did it all come about? Um, uh, well, it started when our friends who were on the student board, they were trying to organize a talent show. And I had played the drums as a kid, but had dropped it after my uh, drum teacher died when I was like 10. So I was just coming back to it like a year before. And Brad was actually learning guitar to uh, pick up women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I just started playing Smart. guitar like four or five months. Before. Yeah. Dude, if you really want to pick up women, bodybuilding. <laughs> yeah, you can pick I, them up and throw them. That's my next <laughs> That's my next. Phase. That's what the muscle suit is for. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and so I had been wanting to like jam with some people for a while but every time i tried like staunton doesn't have a lot of options in terms of musicians especially like alternative music Dude, home of one of the best i'm mus- gonna say there's musicians quite a few in st louis area man what are you talking about? oh yeah and uh el so, monstero's el lead monstero, singer Stero, oh, right. joe dirt yeah uh was uh, celebration day yeah huh. uh, joe dirt's from staunton michael well, just... mr mr quinn the eskimo yeah. that's what i call him <laughs> That's what I call him. Mayor Fireball, <laughs> famous Staunton mayor. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I had asked Brad, like, hey, dude, this is our like a really good opportunity. I think like we should do something. And uh, we just started j- working on a song, and we won both categories. And we, like, nice. we swept it. And uh, then we just kept doing it. And then we started to – we, like, pretty much re- – I relearned my instrument while he learned his instrument for yeah. the first time. And so we showed music to each other, and we got really accustomed to writing with each other. Nice. Yeah, and so then, we uh, were, like – yeah, and then Love one of our friends, Gage, who is also is really talented guitarist, he plays in H seven now. Okay, um, brought Wyrus over to jam one time, and Gage didn't stick around too often, but Wyrus did. Yeah, and so. then and then we met Will at a show um, at the Hollow House. At the Hollow House, yeah, it was didn't just me at the Mac. Oh yeah, yeah, we met at the Mac. Oh. Where we played with the uh, uh, XOKs. X-O- X-O-Ks yeah. yeah, that was like when we first met Will, but we didn't really know Will at that point yet. Yeah, yeah. And then we slowly got to know Will more and Will showed us their acoustic music and they also played bass and Wyrus was begging to stop playing bass because Wyrus <laughs> hated bass. Hated and then it just worked wow. out and then we just kind of hit the ground running from there. Yeah. And then we took like a, like a year and a half writing yeah, and writing and playing really badly and getting more comfortable on stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we recorded our album with Ryan Wasoba and we've gotten much better. Oh yeah. And, yeah. And that's where, that. where did you record the album at? In Collinsville. Um, I don't think his studio has a name. It's just, I'm not sure if it his, does. It's just well, like... It's like an old church he bought and converted. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. We've, <laughs> heard, we've heard Ryan's name many times on this oh, program. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Ryan Wasoba has recorded many of the bands around town. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. He's, he's, done, he's good at it. He was yeah. perfect for our genre of music, too. Like It was like right up his cool alley. Yeah. So, so that is the full-length album he recorded, You Are Cool. I G. You're cool, I guess, yeah. You're, you're I cool, guess. I guess, and all the other things I wish I said. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Right. So was that material you had written from back then that you turned into this album? Or? So when it was just me and Jonah, there's only two songs off the album that me and Jonah wrote together. And uh, that was... Before Wires and Will. Before Wires and Will. That was uh, Love Song to Hinata and... Um, Barely Wake. Barely Wake. And then from there, like, Wires joined. And then Wires wrote a lot of the rhythm parts for the album and lyrics and everything. So... And some of the songs are just Wyrus' songs converted for us mm-hmm. into like a Sumatera song, and a few of them are Will songs converted into okay. full band songs. Yeah. And then okay. there's just a few interludes. Now, now, did you have your YouTube channel back then, Brad? No, I didn't. I only started that like a year and a half ago. But I it's think. under another name. It's under my real name, Braden Martin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, go check it out. I actually just uploaded earlier today. We got his so. name is Braden Martin. Go in. Take him down. I was the first like and comment. I don't know if you saw oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, but yeah. Uh, that's a. Uh, the YouTube stuff really helped out with our numbers online, I feel. Yeah, you like, got like 1,300 subscribers, right? Yeah, we're 1,300 nice. subscribers right now. And that's like, amazing. Most of them, like, know silver material through me. And, yeah. I, I thought you were going to say most of them are me under different ideas. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I was like, that's going to be Well, what man. happened is... He does a lot of, like, just him playing guitar type yeah. stuff. Uh, some of it is just literally, like, phone camera videos, and then others is, like, stuff that I produced and just, like, you know... What I've noticed, like I noticed some of the riffs are part of some still, still yeah. material songs. So, yep, I yeah, I have used some of those. Yeah, so that's interesting if you want to go back and kind of see how a song developed he's actually played some of the riffs yeah and it's cool for guitar players because you can sit right in front of him and watch how he's playing it because this guy's using two hands yeah i do he's doing harmonics got the capo on there yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah so it's fun to watch 
Thank you. Well, Brad's YouTube is how we got like our first big bump in listeners when one of his viewers put our our songs at the start of a, a mix of music that he uploaded that got like 50k views in like right. a few weeks, and then right. a lot of people started listening to our music. And everyone in the comment section was a big fan of it. So the Better also, Call Saul was one of those. Yeah, that's a, that's one of my popular ones. And yeah, we also uh, Wilbur Soot. I don't know if you guys know Wilbur Soot. He's like very famous, but he put us in like one of his uh, two of his public playlists, yeah, which is really cool. And and we got, got some. We views. got some numbers. Now the that. album has like a hundred thousand streams on Spotify. Wow, yeah, that is yeah. amazing! Congratulations! Really? Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations. Like I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A thousand wow. songs is hitting close to thirty k now. Yeah. yeah. Now the band Silver Mature, you guys don't have a YouTube per se. You got the topic YouTube. We we do have a YouTube channel, but like we decided we just to upload it. everything on the Brad's <laughs> okay. YouTube yeah. because it's easier, it's bigger reach. Yeah. So because all his fans like Silver Material, but like they don't see the Silver Material YouTube channel, so it's right. like it's just easier to get to him. Yeah. Brad. Sure. Now I did listen to it on Silver Material Topic, mm. yeah. which is what the digital distributor puts out, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So when you give your stuff to a digital, what we used to call warehouse big men, they shoot it out, and YouTube creates a YouTube channel for the bands. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're seeing videos, and you're like, we didn't put this up. How'd they yeah. get out? You know yeah, what I mean? It's like yeah. kind of weird, but yeah. It was So I, I, I had like a really... Uh, this was a long time ago, like in 2020, I did the same thing with like a, an acoustic single I released. And when it did Will Marsh topic, there was like also like an Indian sitar player named Will Marsh. Oh yeah, so I all, love my, Will Marsh. all my, all my, all my, like my every single that I've released so far has also been under his music. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you were gonna say he's big in India. Like all I, the maybe India I right. haven't done, I haven't done any actual research into him, but I just know Ooh, you are taking all of my audience. <laughs> Well, I really think you're doing pretty well, pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's one of their lyrics. <laughs> a little yeah. inside. Oh. I think I have an inside joke so with the I, band. Yeah, I, I, that's awesome, we have, a, we have quite a few inside jokes. Yeah. That's, oh. off, uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> off the latest Don't EP, right? Yeah. That's, uh, that <laughs> that's Hell of a Barbecue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which, the the EP is uh, Dad's Barbecue? What is yeah, it? It's At Your Dad's Barbecue. At Your barbecue. Dad's Barbecue. <laughs> I have Will's dad in the EP cover. Yeah. Yeah, the guy on the cover is my father. Oh. He's, uh, I don't know. God? I just thought it was funny. We just thought it was funny. Uh, he's not God? He, well, you said your father and you looked up. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> he could be God. I don't know. I thought he looked at me. I was, like, getting nervous. Like, <laughs> there been a paternity test? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Man, well, there you go. Hell, hell of a barbecue. We were actually gonna put it on the album, but mm -hmm. we had just—I don't know. It was originally a song that I wrote, and when we started playing it live with the other songs, I just couldn't like uh, like get my head straight on what I actually wanted to sound like. And then it kind of just ended up sounding the same. Yeah, you like, wanted it, it to. I you wanted, wanted to turn it into like a coffee house song. I wanted it to be kind of more like a chill, like uh, acoustic, like kind of more laid back song but then I, know, I just kind of started liking how we were playing it <laughs> so, like, yeah. so we ended up just putting on the EP it, it was one of our most popular songs live too yeah, yeah. It, it's hooky it's yeah. got a nice little catch to it as you can see I remembered it oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's good that's I think good it's our most accessible song for yeah, sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's one of the ones that's kind of separate from like what we usually play it's more like kind of indie rocky and um, just a fun, fun little ditty. Yeah, it's fun. I like, little I ditty. The whole piece kind of different from what we normally yeah. write. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But it's, it, it's. I think that's one of my my favorite songs to actually like sing live because I can. I like it because it's easy and I can breathe during it <laughs> while I prepare for the next songs. I like Brad well, the solo. next song on like the EP is favorite. Sun Poisoning, and that's that's psychedelic. Yeah. It's, it's brutal. Slower. That's what it is. I wrote that's it about brutal. a bad trip to Florida. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was just going to say bad trip, and I'm like, I don't believe in him, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in him. <laughs> and then there's Bugs. Bugs. The final song. Bugs yeah. is actually a song that Wyrus wrote, like, Years ago. years ago, before yeah. before they were even in Silver Material. I, I had so. written that before I joined Silver Material because like originally I was planning on making like a solo album, but I didn't have like the means or like the skills to like make that work. <laughs> but I did have bugs written, and then I was like, we're gonna record this someday. 
and we did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That wraps up the uh, EP release, right? Which mm-hmm. how long has that been out? Like four or five months? Um, it's been out since June. So yeah, we're coming up on yeah about half a year soon. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it is. Ooh, it is nice. I don't like that. What about the anniversary on November eighth? One year and three days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, that feels like that came out forever ago. No, like that feels it, like it, two it, years it really old does. at least. I don't know. This this first half, this year has gone by really fast for me. Like I once I thought one I thought it was in October. Like we were in we had played that a show. Happened to you too? You thought it was October and it's November. <laughs> well, no, I thought last month. Me all time. Last month I thought October eighth. Was the was the anniversary, oh. and then I looked and I was like, "Oh no, I'm a month off." But well, when you put four videos out and an <laughs> album and an EP, a year will go really fast. Yeah, well, we, recorded, I mean, we yeah, were recording we all the music videos like at once, like yeah, in, they were in the all same recorded at the same months, time, pretty like, much. Because uh, we all took the class uh, last in January that whole semester, and then we were writing our scripts and stuff, and like we scheduled the shooting days. So every video, I think, except for or the Baja Blast and the Barely Awake music video, they were recorded just in the one day. Yeah, just one day, yeah. just one night. The Every Light music video, what that ended up being? Three days? Yeah. yeah. Thousand but, Songs was two or three days. Yeah, Thousand Songs was two or three days. Thousand Songs was two days, but like... The, for Baja Blast, I mean, we shot that in like three hours. Yeah, I mean, a lot that of it, was really quick. barely awake, we didn't even get enough shots. So there's just a lot of B-roll of us yeah. messing around because <laughs> right? we didn't want to go back. Like, there, a lot of our music videos are supposed to have stories, but, like, you can't follow it at all without, like, <laughs> someone sitting next to you explaining We have a it. habit of, like, mi- missing shots. We forget to get shots. It's not <laughs> even that. It's just our light. scripts are the very plot. loose. I yeah. thought every light was pretty. I thought, I thought every, every light, was every light though. Every light was by far the most thought out music video though. Oh, yeah. Like it was like a very. You had like a main character and stuff. Unlike, I don't know, like barely awake, where we just mess around with horses and shopping carts, and then we just sword fight. <laughs> yeah. While me well, and you sit down. <laughs> I sword fight. They joust in <laughs> they joust in the uh, shopping carts. Yeah, yeah. Right. that was yeah. my idea originally was, for and like years. For so. years and like I don't know, I wanted to do a lot more with it. Like I wanted, I wanted to get like a shot of like someone getting knocked out of a shopping cart or something. And yeah. I wanted to do it at like the old Alco parking lot. Yeah, but we oh, can't cool. like bring that the, the camera. The entire time we were shooting that video, they had like Lewis and Clark campus security circle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. they were like what. The these kids doing yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's our project man so that's back I, off yeah i was the one that had to talk to him i don't know why yeah. nobody else walked up to him but i walked up to him and i was like we're shooting a music video i mean even if we weren't though the parking lot was empty he's just being nosy yeah well of course all the music videos that we were got of all the music videos we were to get sussed out by campus security it was the one we were where we were jousting with shopping carts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, both of which were mine <laughs> yeah they were obtained legally Let's make that clear. They were legal shopping carts. Yeah. Because yeah. no, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I think the Mayfield one, I don't know. They were throwing it, it out. Steal, I know then, if it's in a dumpster and I take it out of the dumpster, is that, I thought well, that counts as stealing. One of the employees Listen, literally walked it to our house. If you drag it to <laughs> the road, if it's at the corner, if it's off the property at the corner, it's trash. So you just got to drag the barbecue grill down to the road, and then he's like, oh, it's trash. And then he yeah, right? takes it. And, <laughs> you guys know it was a perfectly fine shopping cart. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, like you're not even from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we are. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so was watered down the first video? Yeah, I I know it was the oh, first you released, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, it was like out of the album singles, it was the first one because it was like the only one we were able to get done within our first uh, recording session with Ryan. And then like I was wanting to do like a spooky video and I figured watered down would have like the good the good vibes for that. Yeah. That was miserable filming that one. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> it, it was such a time cram because we shot two music videos that night with like another project that was going on. So we only had like an hour and a half to shoot that. And most of it was just you guys jamming, except for the uh, guy in the black suit with the uh, yeah with the flashlights or yeah. whatever, and then yeah. the girl, right? Yeah. Which, yeah. So like literally, we just got like performance shots, and then the rest of the night, like it was just wires and like. Yeah, it was horrible. I couldn't hear anything. Yeah. I, I've never been able to hear anything for any of the music videos, so, like, all of my drumming in the videos is horribly mm. off I and just wrong. Think, I thought Thousand Songs. Thousand Songs was pretty Thousand good. Songs was the best, but, like, Watered Down and uh, Barely Awake. No, not Barely Awake. Uh, Baja Blast were really bad. Really? Yeah. I thought Baja looked good. There was one, there was one shot in the Thousand Songs where you, you did a fill, and I was really happy that it lined up. Oh, dang. Okay, well. 
You thought you when I showed it to you, you didn't think it did, but I could have sworn I was watching it and it looked like I could have sworn it lined up. Well, you might have tailgated a little longer than him. Well, true. <laughs> Who spent the most time getting ready to watch this video? Well, I watched it a lot. Yeah, because you edited it. Edited, edited but who it, spent but... the most time getting ready to watch? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're talking about the uh, second release you guys had video wise, a thousand songs called Homesick. Yeah. But that's got another song in it in the beginning, right? All oh, the yeah. mountains I'll yeah, never all see. The mountains I'll never see. A little bit of an intro to that song. Yeah, it's just an acoustic because I, I I wrote I wrote, th- that's a song. Those are songs that I wrote. The well, not the. Not the I, I wrote all the thou- I wrote all the mountains I'll never see like the words to it. Will wrote the instrumental to yeah. it. What yeah. I really want to know is who's the mystery people on the horns. Oh, the that's oh, you don't get to know. Paper mache. <laughs> Wait, what? Bases. <laughs> okay. Talking about, the, talking about Our the Our masks. Flower, yeah. Or, or why aren't we allowed to say? There are flowers <laughs> always in your video. <laughs> I'm catching on to the flower theme. Well, the with a thousand songs and every light in my house specifically. I kind of, cause I, I was the one that directed both of those, and I did the, the thousand songs music video in my head was kind of meant to be like, that kind of kind of confusing kind of dreamscape kind of looking thing where right. it's kind of everything, you know, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. Very surrealist. And yeah. then like a random uh, a random poker. <laughs> or, yeah, just playing <laughs> poker out in the field. But like the every light music video, I felt like is kind of like the scary like, dark reality or whatever of it. <laughs> Which I, don't know. I thought it was cool because, like, the you can kind of see the parallels with like our, our, everything we're wearing, and like, uh, like the there's the people with the sacks on their heads that kind of have the flowers kind of coming out of them. So I was kind of the sack heads, we call them the sack heads, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, cool. that was in a park, was that Lewis and Clark, too, or mm-hmm. was the, that the chapel? Are you mean in the Every Light Music when you video? guys are outside? Yeah, that's in the Thousand Songs music video where like. Out that, by the dorms. That's, that's where we shot that out. Okay. Like yeah, it's, it by it the lake. Turns into a cake fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> that that shot actually, the cake fight originally was supposed to be in the daytime, but we just shot too long out and, and it ended up being nighttime. <laughs> so I had to get a couple transition shots, so it made sense that we were out in the middle of night. <laughs> it was so <laughs> cold that night. It was. It and was I was so barefoot. Cold. Like, I was just in shorts and a t-shirt. You just complain so much. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, always just like, it's cold. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's that, why, that this is why they talk about you behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. It's okay, though. <laughs> No. Story, story of my life. Everyone yeah. except Brad. I'd be sad if Brad no, did this. No, Brad's See, the one I, who started it, t- I, would, I would just say it to your face. Yeah, me and Brad live together. Like, that's a bond, you know, you, you can't yeah. break. Yeah. Right? Man. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, there you Speaking go. of bonds, uh, Will, uh, you wrote that song, uh, Mountains, about his sister, <laughs> apparently. I wrote, that is the confusion, actually. I didn't. I didn't write all the mountains about Wise Sister. I wrote a thousand songs. Okay, so it's right at the end, though. Yeah, so I, I, wrote, I wasn't sure if that was the beginning of the next song. I or realized the end that of is the confusion. Yeah. I wrote a thousand songs called Homesick about Wise Sister. So that really is about his sister. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. I'm not I, like we're, we're just friends. Like we're not like. Uh, I, yeah. I wrote because I yeah. I had a crush on her like for a while when I was like a kid, and I wrote the song. Is she cute? <laughs> yes. I, 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 I feel weird saying. What's her name? I want to look her up on Facebook. See if I can. Uh, oh no! Anyway, bro. Hey, it made him not like the Super Bowl. That's all I'm saying. Uh, look, I'm just trying to find something to do later tonight, man. Yeah. <laughs> Stalking a stranger sounded perfect. Hey, we, we got to get a give a shout out to the painter though. Oh, the painter. Yeah, wasn't that in that same video? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that oh, was my ex. So I did not actually paint that. I right, Jordan Staggs did, right? Yeah, that was yep. my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, that's Jonah's ex. She, okay. she did that one. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, we didn't break up because of her looks. <laughs> <laughs> she was not performing at or near expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I tell my wife all the time, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> Bring it up a notch, you know. <laughs> no, no, that's not why. <laughs> <laughs> Here, maybe album two. Maybe another interview after album two will oh, shed yeah. some Can more you insight. Please <laughs> interview us after album two. <laughs> album Sorry, two. I, already, I already texted her. She said she found you shallow and pedantic. So Honestly? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> she got a point. <laughs> cool, she wants to get drinks later. 
<laughs> I'm going to get a fight going between somebody here. No, if no, no. I can't get no. a band fight, me and You're me just going to get me a late night text. That's all you're going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to get me a text tonight. It's I'm not going to bad for, mouth. No, it's going to be for me saying you wake. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it's going to say, bro. Dude, I am straight <laughs> flustered out here. Come on now. <laughs> hey, I'm flustered over you. Right. <laughs> hey, will, will it help if I move closer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Awesome. awesome. Listen, I'll, I'll, yeah. listen, listen. We'll get... <laughs> yeah. right, sorry, so sorry. I, Brad I, might get I, a little jealous, though. So if you get oh, too yeah. close, Brad might claw at there. you. Brad's very all clingy. Right, all right, that's cool, man. Yeah. I think I could take him, but that's all right. No, He's scrappy. I am like hey. I'm five six. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Hey, either way, let, let's let's get back to this Friday because I don't think we got okay, through it. Yeah. We came right back no, no, to these good. guys because they're way yeah, more yeah. fun to talk to than about the, <laughs> than the gigs. But we got to yeah, let true. everyone know where everyone's playing. Well, like the intrusion. Exactly. They're the playing at, at Grafton's uh, Pub, seven All to right. eleven. The go. Owls at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey on Friday. Cool. Right across the line at Fast Eddie's. We All got right. Kevin Gruen up at George's Local Brew. Denver Wade Trent at Aries, uh, kick ass. <laughs> okay. They're doing Dwight's Village Inn, two nights there. Hicktown at Tegan's and Granite, the scruffy looking, the scruffy looking nerve herder. I talked to him today. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get a real name though. That's, he, uh, he just went by Scruffy. Bill Peasy. Is his yeah, I didn't. I didn't yeah. ask his real name. I just kept yeah. calling him Scruffy. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't blame you. He's playing the speakeasy. Awesome. Speakeasy. Rock Bottom's playing uh, at Patrick's down at Granite. Lanny and Julie at the uh, Holiday Shores Marina, 6 to 10. Michael Martin Murphy, 7.30 at the Wild E Theater in Edwardsville. Three names that could be first names, almost always a serial killer. Just, it's just guaranteed, man. 90% chance. All right. Okay. Mo Pleasure, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Wildfire at the 1818 Chop House in Edwardsville. Lucky you, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wanted to say that one, Big Man. That's why I was trying to stop. I, 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 st- I stuttered a little bit. Go ahead. Lucky horseshoes. Yeah, horseshoes. Yeah, horseshoes. Uh, so whore shoes. Whore shoes. Yeah, there's, there's a Not w horse. In there. There's a W in I don't know, there. man. I, know. I think that says whore Lucky shoes. Whore's shoes. Like the ones that are ghosts in the Stratford. <laughs> right? The Stratford ghosts yes, yeah, that you that. summoned. Prostitution is a real thing, man. I didn't make it up. You don't have to believe in it if you don't want to. The they're, oldest industry yeah. in the world. They're going to be a cabin. They're going to be at the cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carver. There you go. Finish so that one. Yeah, if, if you're looking for some lucky horseshoes, um, <laughs> head on Jeez. down to the cabin at Judy Creek. The, these Bring guys here, the Silver Material Band, will be in Belleville on Friday night. Oh, yeah. A place called the Nunnery with Biff. <laughs> the nunnery? Wait, what? What? Yeah. In you in. That's yeah. a, can yep. you read? All right. All Biff, right. Biff Gnarly, Young Animals and Silver Material at the Nunnery in Belleville. I'm, I'm loving it, man. Tell us about the Nunnery in Belleville. Um, we haven't played at the Nunnery yet, but um, it's being hosted by the public. It seems like a real cool venue. Um, but, yeah, it's a whole big Halloween party. We're playing a bunch of Halloween parties this weekend. It, it sounds like a place where they're like, Canon nuns for sale. <laughs> have you guys seen the uh, poster for the show? I have. It's, it's real spooky looking. Yeah. yeah it is my mom and dad won't go to it. <laughs> yeah, my parents won't go either. <laughs> I mean, Belleville's a drive for them. Yeah. My mom's not. No, going. my mom was just like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't feel comfortable there. Because, <laughs> it's like, okay. because of the nuns. No. Yeah, it's like, I'll show. It. Have you seen the poster for it? No. Yeah. It just has satanic imagery on it, and it so looks, it's that smooth. makes you that, uncomfortable. Yeah, that, that's oh, 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 you boys. Oh, I like. I thought you were good boys. I thought you were such good boys, and now you, I you know literally said I, I was a vampire. <laughs> you are a vampire. a vampire. There's proof it's of right it. Right at home for me. We do that. I mean, Look. we. I mean, think about it though. The silver material lore buildup. If we would have committed with our early bits oh my God. of like raising me from the dead, yeah, <laughs> like it would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. So I want to talk to you guys about a past gig because uh, we checked out the venue with the mayor down in Grand City before it opened, and you guys were the first band to rock out the mill in Grand oh, yeah. City. Yeah. How'd that go? I thought it was pretty fun. It was a good. Was, I think it was a really cool. Like, which one was that? The Battle of the Bands. The last one, yeah. Battle of the Bands. Oh yeah. I mean, it was a nice place. We yeah, just sure. didn't do very well at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, we kind of bombed. Yeah, I, I feel like we weren't like really locked in. Mm, now, we were Jonah, all. Tired. Were you having a hard time hearing? We were all yeah. having a hard time we hearing. Because did they mic the drums? They yeah. did, but I just I think the thing is is it's just really hard to hear. 
like without in ears behind a kit anyway. Yeah. And so I can like almost never hear when we play live. I will live. say they also did not sound check my guitar or my Uh-oh. vocals or Will's <laughs> vocals. Nah. That is true. I was yeah. kind of curious. We were on a time crunch though. I seen I seen an acoustic act, Jeremy Drake there by himself and it's kind of a boomy sounding room yeah. it was yeah. a church right originally? yeah it was originally a church. and so i wondered when they got drummers in there and all that how it was going to go it was pretty uh had a huge pipe organ up against the back wall of the state i mean just a monstrous pipe organ i don't know why they took it out it was the perfect backdrop that would, they, that would be dis- really cool. It, it looks really so. Cool. It, yeah, I, I was kind of bumming that they they disassembled it. But I, if you guys were like intimidated by the stained glass, you can just say it. Like I figured that's probably what you know. <laughs> I liked the stained glass. I thought that they uh, repurposed it very tastefully. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a mini uh, mini Rhine, man. It's, it's, it is uh, a cool vibe. I just wondered with the drums sitting back like they yeah, were. It, it yeah. was it, it was, was hard. I couldn't really. Uh, he ran out. There wasn't really a lot of volume on my like coming out actually my bass amp either like i was pretty much playing kind of blind too but like he had like a oh, i don't even know how he did it it was like direct out to the pa so most yeah. of the sound was actually coming out of the mains okay. instead of actually didn't feed you the monitors yeah not me not the not bass at all either see, i probably so, could have asked so, but like so it was let me fast. let me ask you guys this how often do you play with full monitor mixes and not just vocal monitors i'd say probably about like 40% half, of the time. Half the time. Right. Half, yeah. Because yeah. cause a lot of times, like, it just takes a while to get used to knowing what to ask for. Yeah. yeah. You know, because it, you think you know it and it sounds okay, but once you get started, there's no turning back. Yeah. Unless they have, like, like when we were taking care of you guys, we had a guy right there with a, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and after a song or two, you're like, all right, nobody's looking at me. You know. Yeah. 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 It's thought, okay. Whenever we did the mill, for some reason, I thought it was weird. Whenever we went to sound check. Yeah. He didn't sound check everything. Yeah. He just sound yeah. checked. He only sound checked the new inputs. So like any he we did. So we changed out the bass amps. So he sound checked my bass, and then he sound checked the drums. The drums, mm-hmm. and that was it. He sound checked mm-hmm. my. Amp. Yeah, after, but that's after we asked. Yeah. Like we had to ask for him to sound check like the okay. guitars. Like right. give him I credit though. You know, just, new venue. It was a new venue. It's it's new it's vibe. New, we were on a. The biggest issue was definitely that this was running on a very strict timetable, yeah. and we were behind already. Right. Yeah. Just because, like, it's like four. The turnover time wasn't enough. Four yeah. bands or five. Or four. Four. Four bands. Four bands yeah. But a lot of times, people that put shows together, if they don't understand, yeah. they yeah. want to have a fifteen-minute turnover. How do you get one band off stage? You know, even you know, even if you have a half an hour turnover, like pops can do it because they have like two separate ramps and like they like stack up. And not everyone was using the house kit either, so like they also have their like stuff like yeah, and you know, like the back line yeah. right yeah. before our set. Uh, Jeff Wellen, who, like, it was his kit. He had to go home, but he wanted to take his cymbal stands. So then we had to, like, set up new stands and stuff. And it was just, it was pretty chaotic, but, you know, it, we raised a lot. We helped, like, 700 kids or something. Yeah, like awesome. Billy's kids. Right? Yeah, Billy's kids, and it helped, like, 700 kids and 400 families. There you families. go, folks. We bring it up all the time on here. You know, all, that's why you support local music, because these bands raise money for your charity for free every time that you yep. have a charity mm-hmm. every, you know every time something there's a benefit yes you hear about the local bands playing mm-hmm. and yeah, we've done a few yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. it really was a good like besides all i know we said a lot of negative stuff but it was a really cool venue yeah. it was like yeah, it, it was, was really horrible, like horrible, it was real like it just wasn't our night i, yeah, I, I wouldn't call it negative we were critiquing it from oh, yeah, it a was, band it, standpoint you know because a lot of us played lots of gigs like that and oh, you yeah. know Unfortunately, you guys were one of the guinea pigs, right, yeah, for yeah. the new place. And, 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 and uh, it's like what you said with the turnover time, especially in a new venue where they don't have it. Now, like Pops, yeah, they've been doing it for 150 years, <laughs> and they <laughs> never stop, 24 hours a day. You know, These yeah. guys played Pops. Played yeah, Pops yeah. twice. Yeah. 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 And we played Pops last year. What, when did we play it last we year? Played them on, we played at Pops on, on October 9th of 2022, and we played there on, I think, September 7th of this year. Yeah. Really? Yeah. On the seventh, you weren't invited on that September one. Sorry, well, bro. No, that was my that was my birthday. I just didn't think we played on my birthday. Maybe the ninth. I can't remember. I think it was, it was the ninth. It was the ninth. Okay. okay. Yeah, because it was. After. You guys are playing the nunnery on Friday. Then you're playing uh, Milton <laughs> Schoolhouse on Saturday. Then CBGB's on Sunday, right? Yes, oh, yeah. that's our first STL show too, which is kind of crazy. So oh, really? Sorry. Yeah, we've not yeah. been over there. We've been yet. trying to get in there for a while. Uh, yeah. And it just hasn't been happening until I've now. I've DM'd right. so many venues over there, and they never <laughs> respond to me, and it makes me so sad. Yeah. <laughs> and now. We keep getting offers for shows in St. Louis. We haven't even played one, but we've just gotten like a bunch of yeah, offers for it now. now. Might be playing one on November fourth now. 
So there that's, you go. Oh, that's still, that's oh, still in the works, that? though. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I said I was good to play it. So CBGBs. On Sunday. Yeah. Country, blues, and bluegrass. 21 plus. Boys. 21 plus. Uh, I bluegrass all right i like it yeah, that's, that's exactly what i thought when i saw you <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about the original new york city cbg i looked that up i looked I, when yeah. I was that's looking what at the it. name comes from yeah Country. you check out the documentary you'd enjoy it oh Sounds yeah good. yeah watch the documentary on cbg because it is it's punk rock as it gets man yeah the place got famous because there was a uh like it was just a crappy little club that a guy who owned it had already bankrupted three or four other clubs. <laughs> but then he had a band called Television on stage, and there was an apartment above it, and the guy OD in a bathtub, oh, and the water came down and electrocuted the singer. Whoa. And it made the news, and the next night the place was packed because all the punk rockers were like, man, someone get electrocuted to this place. Let's go see the show. Like it pops when it, when, yeah. when it got shot up the night before we played. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone someone was killed at Pops the night before we played the first time. Oh, wow. I found bullet casings yeah, out in the parking lot. Yeah, we found bullet casings in the parking lot. Well, so we well, it's good to know that the crime... Uh, well, yeah. is doing a good job it's, it's of picking right, that it's, stuff up. It's right next to a, a strip club, right? And we right. Par- when we went there the first time, we didn't know where to park because they didn't tell us. And At we showed up club. really early. So we pulled in to where this coned-off area was thinking, well, this should be for the bands. It's pretty close to the venue. <laughs> and this big guy comes out, and he's just like, yo, y'all got to move your car. He's like, this is for the ladies. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and, and he's just like, yeah, this is where the girls park so they don't have to walk out at night or something. Yeah. I'm just like, man, what does that say about your establishment? Dude, that, <laughs> so, 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 but that is the only way when you go and pop to know that it what time it is there's no clocks there's no windows they're serving liquor mm. and you could be there you walk in on a saturday you don't leave till tuesday but you always know when it's 3 a.m because all the strippers get off work and come in you're like oh an influx <laughs> of strippers it must be 3 a.m again i guess i've been here another 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> so just... big show saturday night milton schoolhouse oh, yeah. Ooh, it's it's the Halloween party. It, 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 it was a big one last year. Hold, hold on, hold on. I, I got a, I got a question. Real you quick. do. Where, where are you playing in the schoolhouse? Are you playing um, on Mavis? Or are you playing? It's it's gonna be down in the warehouse. Um, from what I'm aware, like you know where the courtyard is. So uh, it, yeah, so it's 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 not in the old gymnasium though. It, it, it might be. Like I'm not 100 percent sure of that. Like I work at Mavis, but I haven't really talked to Ian Whitmore, who's organizing like most of it. Like about yes. like. Yeah, that, that's that's a creepy place, man. Yeah. yeah. So you got you guys, Olive, Daisy Chain, Biff Gnarly, 86 Red, and Shareholder. Yeah. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, right. Such a line. 15 in advance, 20 at the door, and uh, starts at 730. There you go. At the Milton Schoolhouse in Alton on Saturday. Which which slot do we play? Do we know? We're playing second. We're playing okay. 15. So okay. get there uh, early for these guys. <laughs> Most important. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what where we leave off here at the at the Lucky Horseshoes? Uh, we left off with the Lucky. the Halloween party at Milton School. We're on Saturday. Uh, oh, are we? Yes, yeah, I don't know. I yeah, don't know what's we're happening. On Saturday. The Well Hungarians are playing Saturday. The, the Well the Well Hungarians are playing Saturday. I like the Well Hungarians. All right. We're playing at a third oh, shoot in Alton. Porch Cafe is playing at Roper's Regal Beagle from seven to eleven. Soul Shine Groove at Baker's and Hale from seven to eleven. And Godfrey Flip the Frog at Sunset Grill and Godfrey on saturday lead foot doc holidays nine o'clock cottage chill screaming eagles jam band out of locks brick house blake Foltz doing a audio distill with the halloween party from one to eight at blue stem vodka in meadowbrook the breakdowns nine o'clock at the pump house in wood river on saturday isaiah christian up at george's local brew six to nine city heat one to five at the hog pit fanfare three to seven at Grafton Winery Brew House, the Yacht Rockers at the Loading Dock, 3 to 6. All those outdoor gigs are going to end this weekend, pretty much. Carrie Lee, 7 to 10 at the Bloody Bucket Saloon in Grafton. Bob Gill at Aries Winery. They got the Halloween party down there at Deutz on Saturday with Kick-Ass and Rock Bottom again on at 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City. American Originals, they're about to retire. So one of the last chances to uh, check them out. They play 8 o'clock till midnight at Teagan's in Granite City. Flip side of Hooch and 16's in Granite. And here's another Halloween party out at the Holiday Shores Marina Bar with Squeeze Box. Mama had one of those. Daddy Six never to slept at night. All right. Drew Schaefer at the Corner Tavern. Uh, Spooky Jam featuring Joey and Johnny Wenner. Garrick Waking, Jimmy Barr, and Blake Foltz. That's at the uh, back bar 
in Edwardsville, Sweet Bottom at uh, Big Daddy's. Oh, Sweet yeah. Bottom at Big Daddy's. Sweet, Sweet Bottom, bottom at, at Big, Big Daddy's. Daddy's. <laughs> Big Daddy's, boy. Sweet Bottom. How do, we right. get a, how do we get a gig there, man? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's where I need to play. Yeah. yeah six to nine. Bottom, bro. You got to do a 69 oh, me, in Edwardsville. <laughs> yeah, covered. <laughs> I, think, I think I got the second best butt in this this group, I'd say. <laughs> what? Well, Huh? We're gonna you, you, have you a just butt say contest. that without like yeah, Oh, I got I got rankings. I mean, is is that what we're talking here? I think <laughs> Wyrus is one. I'm Woo! two. I think. Hmm. Can I be three? No, I'm sorry. I think it's Will. I'm sorry. You said he's got rankings. I know. But it looks like a boil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you what you call that, but that's not pretty. You should see a doctor. <laughs> Get that thing lanced or something, man. That's the first time in the history of this show we've ever ranked the butt of the band. You're now, welcome. In my mind, I do it every time. I every know you do. I know. I do. As, as they walk in, and usually as they walk out, I give it a second look. Well, you know, even with our sponsors, Help Music Company and Matt Van Boris of Macias Insurance, uh, we would not have stayed on the air if we did what was on your mind instead of what comes out of your mouth. Hey, you, Whoa! I, 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 I try to, you know, it's a family show. I try to, I try right? to keep it clean. You do a hell of a job, Big speaking of, Speaking of Matt Van Voorst and good butts, right? I mean, you, you just got to say the two of them together right, right there because, whew, that boy's sweet. He does. Just saying. <laughs> Stubble field. If you want to go get some insurance from Macias Insurance, ask for Matt and check it out, man. It's worth a look. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Rewind at Lyle's Tavern on Saturday from 7 to 10 in uh, Maryville and a Halloween party with Mike Sonderrigger at the uh, Cabinet of Junior Cruz. going right. on there? Uh, American Slang out of Prairie Inn in Dorsey. Uh, you know what? You guys played the Hard, hard Dog Cafe, didn't you? In yeah, yeah, a few times. So, so they're taking it to another level. They're calling theirs a Halloween Eve party because oh, it's Saturday. It's not even Halloween. Uh, they're kind of on it. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it looks, I, look oh, who they had, Pigpen, the band worst you've been case wanting of to false see. Advertising since the never-ending story. <laughs> anyway, it's the Fry Project going to be up there. Uh, They're going to have a hay hayride with the Fry Project. I, oh, I, cool. I still have yet to see the Fry Project. Uh, it sounds psychedelic with a name like that. I would hope that they would be pretty trippy. They are trippy. Power Trip. They're playing them in Highland Spin Corner Cave, right? Yeah. Halloween party. All kinds of Halloween. Brad, no H's. Down in uh, Belleville. Here's Monsters and Music with Glenn McCoy and Kevin Pickard. <laughs> live music and live painting by guest artist Jake Bishop. That's at Spaces. Halloween Art Show. They put the art in party. <laughs> so there you go. There's a Saturday uh, night for you. Come out, including the uh, CSNY tribute over there at the Family Arena in Whiskey River up in uh, Staunton at the uh, Country Club. Yeah, You guys are playing on Sunday at CBGB's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First time in St. Louis. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's see. Who are you guys playing with? I better look it up for you guys. So, Brad, Uh, you may have, like, your mom drive you over there? You just don't look old enough to drive, bro. That's all. I'm 20, dude. (laughs) No, no. no. Whatever. (laughs) You you look like a a, a sweet 16 or whatever. (laughs) There's Buy Your Candy. I kept wanting to bring them up. They're playing with you guys on Sunday. Marble Teeth. I, don't know. Uh, I, don't know. I, I think I think Marble Teeth yeah. just released an album, and that's kind of what part of the show's. For. Okay, Geometry. Already, already. Good math rock name. Oh, that's non Euclidean geometry. Brad, you looked up when I said math rock. You a math rock guy? Yeah, I'm a math rock guy. I think you're a Polyphia guy. Am I right? Uh, I I like Polyphia. I like Tron more. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just checking. That's I'm my. I'm a Polyphia guy and a Tron guy. He's all the guy. <laughs> I'm a toe guy. I'm an all toe guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> you guys like fun guy? Fun guy's pretty cool. Fun guy's all right. I'm fun guy. <laughs> all right. You know, like that one time you were looking at the stars, but you couldn't really see the stars because they were blurry. <laughs> yeah. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, why? That, that, that was, was you. That was why, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, what? Is that Which song was that? Know your own songs, bro. Come on, man. I know most of them. I just don't yeah, recognize yeah, that. It's, it's all right, man. It's we know you poem. don't listen. They, t- they told me. They talk oh, it's about part it of the poem? That's, that's the spoken know. part, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I don't know it, though. Oh, yeah, I tune out on that part, too. Yeah. I just <laughs> like some <laughs> I guess what he said to you. The, guitar, the guitars, though, Thanks. and that part are just so beautiful. It's just you just get lost in the mix there. <laughs> lost in the mix. Okay, yeah. so so for me, the album, right, I was battling between two songs for the top for me. Barely awake, barely sober. That was at the top. But I also like 
Jerry Trainer forgives you. Bang! That's so nice. awesome. But That's I don't. Underrated, underrated. Song most underrated album. song. But I'm a prog guy, uh, so yeah. can you see where I went with that? Gotcha. Yeah. I got gotcha. to hear that stuff. Yeah. Right? Right? <laughs> right, added, Brad? We That's actually re- <laughs> na- live now. We've been doing a, br- a big old like heavy breakdown yeah, at the end fun. of Jerry Trainer after where we usually end it. That's my favorite part of the song now. I really wish we put it in the actual song. Yeah, me too, honestly. It's so fun. So at the end of one video, it gets real chaotic. I'm drawing a blank on which one, but you guys all were supposed to walk off, and Brad sort of walked off, and oh, then yeah, he walked. Was, was, was that real or was that? No, that no, was that was real. real. Okay. I was real. so confused. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> we were, uh, we were he, tired. Yeah, he just thought we were. He just thought we were running a practice run, and then we all walked off, and he's like, "Oh, it's real." Well, I was going to say because that was great acting. If that yeah, was acting, no, it, it <laughs> well, we were with the cake fight specifically we were already kind of getting close on time and like we had all the cameras set up and like we were like okay how are we going to choreograph this cake fight just and like went for it yeah we were t- we were talking about how we were going to do it and then we we're like i don't know let's just do it and then we all just ran in and then like we started fighting and then at the end of it uh we just started talking about how we would walk out of frame mm. and we just figured we'd do it separate and then we just like you know, went for it. We started recording, and then Brad didn't realize we were actually recording. Yeah, I didn't know we were recording because, because like, uh, like uh, Rick was like pretty much like walking us through it. So I thought it was a practice run because oh, he was yeah. like, he was like, all right, you guys can walk off in like three, two, one, or whatever. Oh, and, Rick, all right, so, Rick Vaughn. So, so what? You actually thought there was a whole nother cake sitting there? No, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I just, I this is just like specifically for like the walkout scene. So I was just like. I didn't know what to do. Only, what only the cake smack was core, like planned out. Oh, we actually were able... The smack where I got smacked in the face, we did actually do that twice. Because yeah. we... I didn't you like the first one so much, you're like, let's do that again. <laughs> well, again. It, I, I got some in my face, and it was a pretty good cake. But <laughs> So I'm drawing another blank on which video this was, but you guys are camping, right? Well, that's, the, that's the every light in my house. Okay, now here's... Here, you are talking about takes. How many running scene takes did you have to do in that one? Because that was a lot of running. I mean, not that many, honestly. We just did about two or three each because we did. I only did one. You only did one. Mm-hmm. I only you just did the keep one. playing the same one over and over. I only did the well. I, I only did I the won. one where I ran up and ripped my shirt. I don't oh know. well, yeah, that was the that one. was the only one I did. I think. Well, we did. Well, how we did that was we, we did the. We had. I have a, a mule, which is like a side by a big old like side by side Dude, out of my house. Carries your stuff. I get what a mule. Oh is. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then we all. Uh, I was driving it most of the time, and then Wasn't we had like my sister and my boyfriend shooting it. Yeah, we had uh, why was his sister and his boyfriend in the back of it with a, a light and a camera. <laughs> nice. And we, I think we duct taped out the brake lights because I didn't want yeah, that red. Did. I didn't want that red light in the shot. <laughs> Honestly, it could have, it might have looked really cool. I didn't like it. We did test shots doing it, and I didn't like that red hue in it. I just liked it better with that harsh. She just used light. a flicker box, make it look like a fire that was, was chasing you. That kind yeah. of cool. <laughs> did you guys like being the high council though? I mean, because that's like Illuminati strong. Yeah, right sure. there. That was so much fun. I kind of liked it. It was kind. I liked being that scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like looking all my scary. Uh, boyfriend did everyone's makeup. He's like a he does a lot of acting at like all the haunted houses over in St. Louis. Like okay. at, like limp in the darkness and creepy world. Um, and yeah, he did. He like does like some professional grade makeup almost with it. So yeah. we, we we really amped it up with that video. And the shots in that music video that were like outside and actually where we were in like woods and stuff. Those were actually shot out at my house because. Uh, it, it was just a, what I was thinking of in my head, and like I just used my phone to record those shots, um, and then everything that was like at the chapel and stuff, we actually used like the cameras that the school actually offered. Um, but oh, my phone looked fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had your friends being the flower creatures, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that had to be fun. You it guys was, had to have. It was a fun shoot. It, it was, was really, really fun. It was a good time. Yeah. Quite a few people in that video. Yeah. 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 A lot of work went into A lot that of work. people. We, we just hung out a lot, though, too. Like, yeah. Because you guys a lot hung of shot, out. I yeah, was directing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was okay, so a lot of shots directing. didn't require most of us, so a lot of us were just hanging about. Yeah. You guys were hanging out, and then every time I needed you, I was like, hey, hey, get over here, get over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Will, I think you're doing pretty well, pretty well. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> just want to pass that on to you. Well, thank you. I so, so it. if we want to find you guys and check out these YouTube videos, we've got to go to Braden, Braden Martin. Martin. That's spelled B-R-E-Y-D-O-N and right. then Martin. 
Way to go, Brad. Yeah. Spell it out for the radio audience. I love you're so that. Good. You're so good. At You've done a lot of these things. radio interviews in your life, I can tell. I've done like two. Oh. <laughs> Way to monopolize the focus of everyone to your name instead of the band's name, Silver Material. Well, see, Cause he has just, 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 just quit trying to so explain much. it away. Hey. You're, you're one of those, somebody He's, throw on a rose-colored spotlight. I mean, he has told me he can't wait till he outgrows us and leaves us. I'm just, yeah. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he started ahead of you guys with 1300 I you know. Got, Listen. You guys are riding him already. I'm I know. Listen, Listen we are on the coattails, you know. Okay. I got you, Brad. Road. I got you, Brad. Riding the coattails. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of growing, anyone else get chubby when he got slapped with cake, or was that just me? Not for uh, <laughs> And I'm sure you guys are on Instagram. Yeah. On Facebook, right? Yeah. Yep. Silver Material. And there's videos there. You can link it to YouTube, right? Oh, yeah. 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 But, uh, All right. of course, everyone already, already knows about it. Braden Martin's YouTube yeah. channel. The legendary, yeah, the legendary Midwestern emo yeah. guitarist. Yeah. Braden, Martin. Braden Martin guitarist. <laughs> Braden <laughs> Martinez with no father. Which father in jail. Father, <laughs> father in jail. That's not true. That's Don't go to BradenMartin.net. Well, so. It's a porn site. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's not his, but it's not pretty either. You <laughs> <laughs> will want to scrub your browser if you <laughs> accidentally go there. <laughs> All right, so you guys poured out two records in a year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you working on a third? Um, We're, we're kind of... We're like, writing. Yeah, we're writing right now. We're, we got some crazy stuff yeah. we're working on. We're kind of just like taking our time with it because I don't know. We have a we have like a few more shows to round out the year, and then in January and February we're gonna work on writing our second album, Silver nice. Material Goes to Church, which is <laughs> <laughs> which is the current name. It'll probably change because we always change the names for stuff. But What's, it's been pretty you have cool. use of a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the synagogue. <laughs> you guys have use of a chapel still, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. We do. Now they like you out there, so they might let you even after you've passed, oh, graduated. Yeah. Yeah. But, but right. they're, they're in college. They'll end up taking an Eastern religion class and realize they're <laughs> Buddhists, and then they're going to be like, we go to temple now, not church. It, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if any of this is, you know. I mean, I could, I could pull off a Buddha look, you know. Yeah, I, I, I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do. I do. Yep, just like that. Yeah. Well, well I thoroughly really enjoyed myself on uh, Braden you. Martin's YouTube channel, <laughs> and uh, I also enjoyed the record very much. You are cool, Ig. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say so people know how to find it. Yeah. IG. I'm spelling it out like you did, Brad. <laughs> it means I guess, but you know, yeah. they got to find it on every distributing, yeah, streaming, everywhere. all of them, all right? All platforms. Right. So, congratulations on 100,000 streams. Wasn't that what you said? Yeah, about like kind of collectively. Man, throwing that album music so in there. cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you deserve it, man. It's good music. It's fun to listen to. It's uh, difficult to play at times. And uh, that's my favorite stuff, Pigman. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, they I will say that I, I, they want, get... I want to end this by saying what I said to you guys uh, uh, when you first came in because uh, for the listeners' sake, I. It, I saw these guys at Trinity Riverfest over the summer. They did it. Not only did they do a great show, but they had an audience of people ranging from older than I am <laughs> to to much younger than what even even Braden's. Uh, he's cute, not even the youngest. I, I, <laughs> you know, I I can tell that he's got to be the youngest because he's you know he's got not, that silky smooth. I do have dude, a baby face. Look at him. He, he's not that. He, he he's lying to you. He was a trucker just back in the seventies. I just turned twenty. Just turned 20. <laughs> like six days ago. Suddenly you're a little cuter to me. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More, more the, the only way you could look any cuter is if you told me you had money. So no. <laughs> well, I don't got that. But damn it. Well, he's ugly <laughs> now. They're the owner of a famous Nana Shack venue. Yeah, yeah, Nana Nana Shack. The, the newest <laughs> venue in the Alton Music area, the Nana Shack. Really? Where's that? Or it's, a, Hill. it's just my grandma's house. But we've been playing okay. a lot of right, shows out right. there. I know your grandma. I've been in that barn, I'm like pretty Carson's. sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's. I think it's nice for what we got out there. Yeah. There was Alex and three of his band, you guys, and uh, Accidentally on Purpose, I think. Yeah, Yeah. we did Duck Fest there. Yeah. Yeah. This was this was about a year ago. Oh, that was the album release whenever we did that show. Oh, yeah. I was there. Oh, you were? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I snuck in. That's <laughs> awesome. That's crazy. I didn't tell <laughs> anybody. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, what I was going to say about the, the show is you, you had this uh, audience that ranged from old to the young, and and they all were singing along with your songs. They all knew the the lyrics, and and I don't know how long you guys been doing this, but that means something because the 
people have been writing songs for 50 years that nobody knows them. They don't even know them like you. You don't even know your own stuff. Nope, not the spoken word parts. Well, <laughs> kind of, sometimes, I sometimes when people are singing the lyrics in the audience, it makes makes it easier for me to remember. Oh. Sure, <laughs> it, helps. it absolutely helps, right? Definitely. Well, I think you're doing pretty well, pretty well. <laughs> you got to throw it in a third time. <laughs> Three right. times, I told you, round the building. <laughs> you guys right. are the high council. All right, so everybody <laughs> check out Silver Material. Uh, what's the d- dates again you, you got coming up? You got Millers? Um We got um, October 27th, October 28th, October 29th, potentially November 4th, and November 8th, right. as well as December 7th. And, and oh. so there you go. That, that is uh, why from Silver Material. November 8th at the uh, chapel out at Lewis and Clark College for the one-year anniversary free show. All right. Free. Free. Not like the Milton Schoolhouse, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. All right, there you go. So, well, hey, Just thanks. you guys, too. All oh, to yeah. yourself. The entire the album. Material show. <laughs> if I go to that show, I can listen to my favorite song, right? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. If Jerry Trainer forgives one. you, but oh, and you'll hear the, it goes you'll way the, better. You'll hear now. the breakdown. The, but, oh. like, oh. the yeah. yeah. Ever since I got a China symbol, all of our songs have improved tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, every song ends with da 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 da. Yeah. All right. Hey, we got Will Marsh, bass player, vocalist. We've got Y. Uh, guitar player and vocalist Brad, uh, the braggadocious one, uh, the, the lead guitar player of the band, and Jonah and the Rail. Clawson uh, with the two uh, satanic S's. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah. Jonah uh, playing my the mom's drums. request. So <laughs> this is, uh, <laughs> this is uh, the Silver Material Band. Get out, check them out. Big thanks to them for coming down this evening. Thanks to Halpin Music Company and, of course, Matt Van Voorhis of Macias Insurance for sponsoring us for this low 10 years or whatever it's been now. We're so, getting there. Uh, so, everybody, uh, thanks to everybody out there. Get out and support local music and art. <laughs>